Today we will introduce the basic parameters and accessories of the AZC-72 handheld device, as well as its commonly used functions. The AZC-72 handheld device is a smart mobile PDA that integrates various features, including ultra-high frequency, wireless communication transmission, data collection, and processing capabilities. It operates in the ultra-high frequency band and is equipped with the Android 13 operating system. It supports globally recognized EPC Class 1, GN2, and ISO 18006C protocols, with a maximum reading range of up to 30 meters and the fastest read rate is over 1300 tags per second. In addition, the AZC-72 handheld device is also equipped with either an European standard or U.S. standard adapter. The AZC-72 comes with barcode and RFID tag reading and writing capabilities, as well as additional features like Bluetooth, GPS, and Wi-Fi connectivity. Among them, the QR code or barcode reading section and the RFID tag read and write functions are the two most commonly used features. In the QR code or barcode reading section, there are two main basic tabs, scan and config. Below is a simple demonstration of the scan function. One of the tab is scan, which is used to scan information from QR codes or barcodes. Another tab is config, which is used to change the parameter number and parameter value for QR codes or barcodes. For the commonly used UHF tag read and write functions, it includes six core tabs, scan, read, write, config, lock, and kill. The scan tab is typically used to identify nearby UHF RFID tags. When this function is selected, the RFID reader starts emitting radio frequency signals searching for and reading the EPC code or other relevant information from the surrounding RFID tags. The read tab is used to further retrieve more specific data from the RFID tag. In addition to the unique identifier, an RFID tag may store additional information such as inventory numbers, product data, or custom user data. The right tab is used to encode data into the RFID tag. UHF RFID tags usually have writable memory areas, like user memory. You can write specific data into these memory areas to update information or configure the tag. Below is a simple demonstration of the write function. Config tab allows for the setting or configuration of certain operating parameters of the reader, such as output power, frequency range, and more. It can also be used to restrict access permissions to the tags. The lock tab is used to secure certain memory areas of the RFID tag. For instance, you can lock the EPC area or user data area of the tag using a password or lock code, making the data unchangeable or accessible only to users with specific permissions. 
This is crucial for protecting the security of tagged data, especially in applications where preventing tampering is important. The Kill tab is used to permanently disable any modifications to the RFID tag. Once the Kill command is executed, the encoded data on the tag is locked and can no longer be encoded, preventing the reuse of the tag information. This function is typically used for products after they have been sold. If you have any questions about the AZ-C72 RFID handheld device, feel free to leave a comment.